This video covers new features included with the 21.0.40 release of Seek. There are three major feature enhancements included in R21. Separate videos and articles with more information on each of these topics can be found on the Seek YouTube channel and Knowledge Base. First, users can now create multi-column tables with scorecard metric with each column based on a capsule or particular time range within the display range. Second, users can now perform frequency analysis on signals using Fast Fourier Transform with the new Frequency Analysis tool. Finally, the new formula function, Correlation Offset, improves regression analyses with time delay impacts. This formula first identifies a time delay between two signals and then shifts one so that the correlation is maximized in any subsequent regression analysis. We have also included a few usability improvements with this version of Seek. The first thing you will notice upon opening the new version is that our color palette has expanded. You can now quickly identify whether you're working in a blue organizer topic or a green workbench analysis. Signal selection has been simplified with redesigned capsule time and dimming features. When you switch to capsule time view, all signals in the display range will be overlaid automatically. In order to view data outside of the conditions, select this option from the new dimming drop-down menu. To view specific capsules, check the boxes next to the desired capsules and select Show Only Selected Items in the new dimming drop-down menu. Keep this option selected and check the box next to specific signals to view a subset of signals. R21 includes several smaller changes intended to improve the Seek user experience. First, a full list of Seek functions is now available to review, in addition to previous search functionality. The function search has been updated to improve search result priority. We've also added a few functions in this release. To see a complete list and descriptions, please check out the Seek Knowledge Base article. Conditions can now be used as inputs into histograms, enabling counting of batches and summing of durations during conditions. Two changes included in this release should improve processing time. First, we have optimized data source indexing to reduce metadata sync time. Second, in order to reduce calculation time necessary to offload worksheets, the capsule preview in the investigate range now defaults to off. You can turn it back on when you want to have this functionality with the button to the right of the investigation range. Users can now assign a workbook to another person when they shift roles. Users can reuse signal names if they first throw away unwanted signals via the trash can on the item properties associated with the item. We've added two improvements to navigation in Seek. First, users can now quickly note what folder work is stored in or jump to a parent folder with the new links at the top of the display toolbar. Second, users can now sort content on the home screen by owner in addition to name, last used, and created. Finally, a search performed at any level of an asset tree in R21 will now return results that meet criteria at and below the current level. We hope you enjoy the 21.0.40 release of Seek. As always, we encourage you to send us your feedback. We're pleased to include several user-requested features in this rollout and look forward to including yours in a future release.